Welcome back to the seat part of the camp stool. Today we are going to be making the fabric cloth seat. Now this is the strong canvas because it actually holds the seat together. So there's a lot of strength in it. Okay, so I'm, you're going to be given a strip of canvas that is just over, it's 420 wide, okay? Now we need it to be, you need to cut a square which is 420, which is already done, by 370. So. You just mark out the 370 and just put a few marks, one at that end, one at this end, and then we just join it up and we just give it a few dashes across the way so we, it doesn't have to be all the way across, capturing that? Yeah. Good. Then we pull out the special scissors, okay, these are the special ones, so in my mind that's used for fabric, and we cut across. Okay, follow the line. And remember, once these scissors finish cutting fabric, they're put away. Nothing else. Okay, fairly straight cut there. Now, we then need to... Uh, to the hem. So we need to fold over approximately, hopefully, half a centimeter. So I've got these pins here. You can <laughs> pin it through about half a centimeter, do it on the very edge, like that. Okay, and then Every so often, this pin is bent. Okay, once you get good, the pinning is probably not needed, but as this will be your first time for most of you, uh, I recommend you pin it. Okay, I'm careful not to prick myself. And hoping two more should do it. All right, it's looking good. All right, now here's your single heavy duty sewing machine. So there's at the back here, come see the back. At the back, we've got this lifts up the foot and puts it down. So you lift it up. Now, on the other side, around that way, we have this thing. Now, we can manually turn it or with the pedal. Now, it only goes one way, okay? It has to go anti clockwise, okay? So we lift, make sure the needle's up. This is up, but if it was still down, we would turn it up, but it's already up. Now, you carefully place this underneath where the needle's gonna go, and then I put the foot down, like that. Now, I manually give it three spins forward, it's on the corner, one, two, three, and then, I hit reverse, and then still going for the still going anti-clockwise, the same direction, but I'm holding this down. I give it three spins forward, which because it's reverse, it's geared backwards. Okay, and then I'm set to go. Now I've got the pedal down here. There it is. Now this is you need to line it up nice and neat, straight, parallel, or perpendicular, you call that, and just ease it. On safety glasses on. Nah, just kidding. You don't need them. Um, and then make sure we're feeding it in nice and straight. Resist the urge to go full speed. In hindsight, I could have put those needles a bit further away from the foot. 
Now, when you get just before the end, then you switch back to manual mode. Give it another three forward, and then hit reverse, and keep going another three. And then when the needle lifts up, tilts up, we lift the foot up. And then I pull it out. Now, on the side of the sewing machine, greatest invention ever, that is a little bit of snippers. So you just roll it over that, and there's a oh, razor there, and that chops it. Because you don't, you need to keep them. If you pull them through those two threads there, you will have to re-thread it through, which will have to be done by the teacher. So now you can pull your pins out, and look at that. Now, wow, yeah, wow indeed. Look at that. Amazing. That's a not a bad. Went a bit, went a bit off the line there. I think it's fine. That is bloody now, you've also, so now you've got to do the next four corners. So that's, once again, just, I'd do the opposite for size first. So you've done that side. Oh, yeah. I'd fold it over here. Now, because I'm feeling confident, I'm going to go pinless this time. Oh. Which is up to you. Oh, she. So I've, I've bent over the, just under, just under 10 mil, half a centimetre. And put it in the corner there, put the foot down, clamp, just like before. One, two, three, reverse, one, two, three, and now, here we go. Okay, now once again to the corner, one, two, three, one, two, three, and make sure the needle's up, it's up, lift it up, once again bring it round and slice it on them. So now we've done the two, two parallel sides, now we can go the other side. So it's going to get a bit thicker here. because it's folded over on the corner, so that's four layers right there. Um, foot down, but this is a heavy duty sewing machine so it can handle it. One, two, three, reverse, one, two, three, ready. Hold on. And the, it's the bobbin. Sorry. The bobbin is out. So what's happened there, and this will happen <laughs> to us all, is oh, I need to get the the bobbins. This bobbin's a good top spindle, uh, I believe. We'll pull that out. Do you need to leave? No. Feel free. Okay, so that goes, they've numbered it, it's dead simple. One, two, and then three goes down this side, four underneath. Now, five's a tricky one, because you need the hook. So to make the hook come up, there it is. The hook comes up, under five, back down around six. And then, you probably want to call the teacher at this part, because there's this automatic threader thing, which is pretty tricky. Um, I won't explain it on YouTube, but you feed it through and get it off the hook. <coughs> and, look. and then you pull that out. And under there. Alright. Looks good. I hope. I'm not an expert. Here we go. And. Plenty of time. Now foot down. Let's go. One, two, three. Reverse. One, two, three. Ready. One, two, three, one, two, three, and needle.
up, lift up foot, bring it out, and chop, chop. All right, next, last one. <sighs> lift up foot. Okay, foot down. One, two, three, getting the hang of it now. Backwards, one, two, three. All right, here we go. One, two, three, backwards, one, two, three, lift it up and slice. There we go. Now, let's have a look at the result. Now, obviously, you've got to trim the edges, but there we go. So that should be 350 down and 400 across. And then all, it's all ham, so that's going to be strong canvas. We'll, next step in next week's episode is uh, we'll staple it onto the frame and that will hold together. Hopefully it will give us a, a lifetime of uh, camping goodness. All right, any questions, put them in the comments below and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks, Johnny. All right, thanks,